Attention, the following video may contain fun, humor, profanity, personal opinions, political incorrectness, and so on. If you are under the age of 18 or are easily offended by something as simple as gendered words, then I suggest you turn this video off and watch something more suited to you, something like Sesame Street. Don't say I didn't warn you. G'day guys. This video is going to be part 8 of Project Team Associated No Prep. Today's video is all about power. Now, as I've, since I've started this project with this car, um, I've gone a bit slow, gone slowly in uh, making it faster. Um, I did have some teething issues with uh, getting it to go straight and I have well hopefully I have uh, sorted that issue so for since I started with it I have only been running a seven and a half turn brushless motor it's a Turnergy Trackstar seven and a half turn and I was using a Tekken RS Pro uh, speed controller now that speed controller has since been removed and put into another car and so now I have nothing for the car for for this car now so I decided well I've always intended to make the car faster and I thought to myself well I've got a few castle creation systems and I thought but the problem is that they're old so I thought I had a look and see what the new ones what the uh, new speed controllers and that are and see what they're like so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the bench and have a look all right guys so we have the car on the bench here so with the lid off if I can get it off so as you can see, uh, there's no speed controller in the car at the moment. I still uh, have the uh, 7.5 turn motor, but that is going to be taken out. So I've decided to put a Castle Creation system in it. So this is what I've got. It's the uh, Castle Creation's Copper copperhead 10 it's a uh, ESC and motor combo and uh, this combo I decided to go with the 6900 kV motor so it's a censored system and it's a censored motor and I haven't opened it yet so let's get this open and have a quick look inside It's been a while since I've bought any uh, uh, new speed controllers. Well, for cars anyway, I've been pretty much using the old stuff that I've had for years and years. The problem is they're all outdated. Okay. So that would be the speed controller. And here is the motor. Just move it there. All right, so let's have a look at the speed first. All right. Okay, so it's a decent sized uh, speed controller. I hope this actually fits. I might have to do a bit of rearranging of the electronics. It's a decent uh, speed controller. And I'll, obviously I'll read the instructions after, on, on this. So that is the speed controller. This looks like the uh, sensor port for it. It's, it's not what I'm used to seeing. So decent looking speed controller. You 
it comes with uh it has uh plugs to plug your motor in so let's have a look at the motor so this is as i said this is a 6900 kv motor so it works out roughly to be about uh, five turns okay we got some nuts and bolts here is the motor and the sensor cable what i'll end up probably end up doing is when i plug the motor into the speed controller i will resolder the uh resolder the wire shorten the wires and resolder them so what um i mean it's a decent 540 size motor and like i said 6900 kv so that should have some plen plenty of get up and go in it so what i'm going to do guys is i'm not going to bother uh recording putting it in to the uh into the car i'll do that off camera and then what we'll do is we'll come back have a quick look and then after that we'll go take it out and give it a test all right guys i've got the speed controller and motor installed it was definitely a uh <laughs> it was definitely a uh a, a rearranging of electronics requirement <laughs> the uh esc that esc is massive and like me because i mean uh, before, as you can see, I've had to relocate the uh, receiver on top of the servo here. There's not, if I just tilt it up, as you can see, there's not a lot of room uh, for the uh, speed controller to be in. I mean, it's it's not too much of a worry. It fits it fits in that space. Just needed to move the receiver other than that um it went together it went in all right um i've put the xt90 battery connectors on um the wires have been shortened um where's the as you can see here guys is the oh, i can't find the third one but it doesn't really matter the, that's how much wire i had to take off and i uh, don't not sure what uh solder they used there at castle creations but i tell you it took some effort to try and heat heat it up to get the uh to get the um wires off the solder tabs there it uh took a fair bit of heat i even had the my iron cranked right up as far as it could go but got there in the end and uh yep yeah, wires are shortened I've uh, calibrated the ESC and I have hooked it up to the Castle Link system and uh, got everything ready and uh, it up also updated the firmware for the speed controller as well. So guys, the next thing we're going to do now is head out to the test area and see what this thing can do. All right, guys, we're at the test area again. Uh, just got the uh, EC hooked up to the Castle Link system, just going through a few settings. Got the tires warming up. It is friggin' cold at the, here at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put my uh, mitts on. Um, so I'm going to try something different with filming. Uh, usually I have my camera here mounted on uh, my hat. I've got a little hat mount. Um, but I'm going to use try and use this because uh, being follically challenged, I need to keep my head as warm as possible. So I'm going to be wearing this. So I'm going to try something different with filming. So hopefully I pick up everything that I want with this. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to get the tyres heated up, 
and uh, hopefully give it its first run. Alright guys, car is ready, just going to do a quick burnout. I finally figured out how to do the drag setup on the GPS system, so let's give this a try. Okay, drag. Come on. Okay. Start. Alright guys, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Well guys, I just uh, stripped the spur gear. I did try to have this pinion as low as I could get it. Um, it would appear that even though, like I've got the motor pushed back as far as possible, uh, she stripped the gear during the burnout. And then once I gave it the welly, it just went nope. So hopefully I've got a spare in my toolbox. So hopefully I'll be back. Alrighty guys, that uh, that stripped spur gear was no fault, no one else's fault but my own. Um, I thought I had tightened up the motor mount uh, screws uh, tight enough. Evidently they weren't, and the motor shifted, and it decided to strip the teeth. So I'm just rewarming the tires and we're gonna give it another hit. All right guys, we're gonna try that again. Hopefully, hopefully we're a little bit more successful. So I'm just gonna do a quick warm up and we'll try it out. Well, that didn't work too well. I kind of expected that. Start. There we go, that's better. Okay, read. 66 kilometers an hour. All right, guys, so. It did it in 3.7 seconds. Obviously, this isn't, you know, I'm, I'm just going conservative here. Uh, 2G acceleration over 40 meters, which is 132 feet in the scale uh, drag uh, distance. And yeah, that, well, okay. I'm happy with that. But 66 kilometers an hour, that is a personal best for this car. And like I said, that was a I was a conservative takeoff. So um, I'm going to check the battery and we'll try again. All right, guys, uh, getting ready for the second pass. Well, second, hopefully the second successful pass. Anyway, um, just going to give the tires a warm up, and I'm going to do a try and this because it's a short wheelbase 
it does get a little sketchy on takeoff, so I'm gonna do my best to keep it straight. Um, so yeah, let's uh, warm these tires up and see how we go. Here we go. That was much better. All right, let's see how we go. Read. All right. She did 3.11 at 69 kilometers an hour <laughs> giggity yep all right so the, the so it was over 40 meters 3.11 seconds 69 kilometers an hour and it was a 2.1 g acceleration and uh i'm hoping the uh, camera can pick up the graph here if not i'll because i'll take a screenshot of this and i'll just put it up as a picture but that's uh 69 kilometers an hour that's this car's best ever run all right that's sweet all right what i'm doing here um so i'm going to do one more pass uh, the battery's got enough charge i mean it's just over uh 8.1 volts at the moment so i don't want to do too many hard launches below eight volts um given the type of battery pack that it is um what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a bit of a uh do a bit of an experiment here so i these runs that i've done i've started them on medium start power um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on low start power now this from the information that it gives me when I hold click the little question mark it's got to do with battery quality and it says if you got low quality batteries like low performance then have a low start power and so forth even though this is obviously you know this is a drag pack uh, battery pack um, I'm going to have even have it start in low power not for obviously because the battery can handle the high power but give it given the uh, traction that I have because as I've said um, in other videos it's winter and obviously you know I've got gloves on and that so even though the surface is out in the Sun right now um, it's still relatively cold and I I'm just doing an experiment because those last two passes that I've done uh, I haven't mashed the throttle straight away I've just given it probably about half throttle then full throttle so I'm gonna change the settings to low start power and we'll see how we uh, see how we get on all right guys this is hopefully going to be the last pass um, like I said I don't want to drain the battery too much because I don't have a charger out here at the moment um, so like I said I'm gonna uh, just change the settings to low start power and yeah we'll see how this goes eh? I'll do a quick warm-up and we'll give it a hit
and drag. Start. All right, guys. Here we go. Oi! All right. I'll be back in a sec, guys. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I was actually able to drive the car back. So I will just see what that was. 69 k's an hour again. Uh, that was a 3.25 uh, run, second run. Uh, the G's were 1.81. Obviously, it was going to be a lot lower, uh, given the fact that I just changed it to low power settings. But other than that, that was that went pretty sweet. Still, it was a, obviously a slower time. So, I mean, the car launched still launched pretty good. But um, other than that, guys, yep, that'll be the last run for this. Uh, I'll what I'll do is I'll stop the camera here and then I'll do a quick uh, damage report, if any. Well guys, I was very, very lucky to get away with that. Um, the only damage, um, take no notice of that guys, that, that is a bit wonky, but I think that actually helped him, uh, for me. Um, I think that movement there actually helped save the chassis. Because um, he, I mean, it's a bit hard to tell right away, but as far as I can see, the only damage that the, the chassis itself has suffered is uh, these screws here are bent. So as you can see, the wheelie bar is kicked up. Um, the, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, give it a once over, but um, I think I got away with that very, I was very lucky to get away with that. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, other than that guys, yeah, other than some bent screws, it looks like, um, it's, it's absorbed the impact very well. Um, where it hit, it hit right there, you can see it's kind of squeezed in a little bit. A um, little bit of damage there on the shell. So really, guys, yeah, this was a, a lucky escape. <laughs> so I'm going to just uh, stop here, and then I'll be back to wrap this video up. Well, guys, that is uh, a successful test. Um, back in the hobby room now, I'm... I uh, got the car on the uh, bench. I'm about to start pulling it down and um, giving it a full assessment just to see if there's any damage uh, apart from those two screw bent screws. Um, I think I'm, I, I mean, it's a hard, hard, bit hard to tell right now, but I'm pretty sure I was lucky to get away with that. Um, but, um, I'm calling that a very successful, uh, test of the new motor and speed controller and a good test on the car in that location. That is the first time I've driven that car there. Um, yeah, the car performed well, quite happy with how the speed controller and motor performed. And I've just got to make sure that I, um, have it properly meshed with the gearing. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, that that is the end of this video. The um, if you have any uh, questions about the car or the speed controller and so forth, don't hesitate to comment down below. Don't hesitate to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And until then, guys, enjoy your hobby and cheers.